yes so the huge uh, pile of logs have re been reduced and these seven meters I finally enlarged my bed to nine meter and twenty and to automate this I have added a hoverboard motor here with a clutch and I want to explain how to easily uh, um, fasten this uh, uh, gear of this 25H uh, pocket bike chain uh, sprocket to, to this motor. But just you see that the first test, so it's it's just uh, for testing. So it's only ADC input and, and <laughs> there will be uh, ESP32 and serial communication uh, so that I control the, 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 the entire band. So, so, okay, here, let's start. So that's uh, even already too fast. So I might, um, I have another uh, idea to um, a project. So to put here a planetary gearing, uh, I have a nice concept for a planet. Okay, now just to show you full speed. <laughs> okay, let's let's stop this. It's also 3D printed uh, quite nice. So here that's uh, a pressed, uh, a adapter pressed into the uh, four millimeter inside. And so I made use of the old uh, 20 millimeters uh, bolt. Uh, and here's two, two gearings. So um, it's my new SLA printer. The photo mono, it's really very nice. And you can get it on, on eBay for, for 130 euro. That's less than $150 including shipping the Photon Mono. It's really great, great SLA printer. Uh, you see that's all also SLA printed. Yeah, okay, uh, but uh, that's short video about how to... Ah! Fasten. Ah! Uh, so here, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, my new solar car, making a 50 kilometer trip today. Here are the batteries. And okay, uh, I'm, you see, it's it's quite easy. I, I made, I took this motor because I thought that this motor has not these 20 millimeter uh, low efficient motors uh, that have these designs. But when I opened it, this also had the 20 millimeters. And by now, all the, this design uh, has the 25 millimeters for sure. And so you, it's also, we, we should make a list of, of, of designs because uh, I usually buy them used for 30 euros or 33. US dollars, uh, including shipping, uh, and and so sometimes the battery is broken, but mostly everything is more or less functional. And um, the thing here is you, you can easily make uh, five holes here. Uh, you see it. You can simply uh, measure here. That's that's uh, 15, uh, 15 millimeters, and and uh, here that's 10 millimeters. So it's uh, 17.5 millimeters from. From the center and and then you cal calculate the radius of of the clutch uh, and, and uh, half of the so you no know, the radius the mine uh, at this 17.5 and you can here fasten it and then you can here make uh, from from here to there you can make uh, markings or you can go from here to the black side. It just has a bit less aluminium, but the black is easier to see. And, and next you can uh, make here a, a, a distance from, from, from this side. And so you can make here a marking, and then you have this cross. You can easily make these five holes uh, to, to fasten it. And, and then I, well, I printed here the, that's pressed into you see, you just make it one millimeter, about one millimeter too, too wide. Uh, the, the, these inner five uh, push uh, points. 
Uh, you can, you might even take as a, as a nut, as a, as a nut. Uh, I did print it with my uh, 3D printer, so I can, you see, it's more perfect. So I can uh, print in a second uh, set with uh, half a millimeter wider. So that, but the first, first start really, um, first was. And it, it could also even be uh, something like a torque limiter. You see, uh, for a, a car, it might not be that nice, but here with, with my setup of, of this lock band, so uh, it might be a good idea to have a, a second uh, a, a hardware uh, torque limiter, so that this <laughs> clutch might even uh, work a bit. And that's very easy. You can quickly make this five holes and uh, put something in between, and, yeah, and, and that's, that's it, yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>